Hi, I'm Teddy Burris, your sales navigator and LinkedIn strategist. And this conversation I'm having today is answering this question. Teddy, how do I attach my resume or my brochure from Google Drive to my LinkedIn profile? And before I show you step-by-step -step how to do that, hit the subscribe button because I'm going to produce lots more YouTube videos on how to use LinkedIn as a business tool just for you. So there are lots of places on your LinkedIn profile where you can add content, rich media is what sometimes I'll refer to it as. But I want to show you where you should put it so that you get the best likelihood that the content is viewed. And that would be in what's called your featured content. Now you can put it here in featured, here's where you add it. When you add it, you have the ability to do a LinkedIn post that you created, an article, a link to any content on the internet, including LinkedIn. Or you can upload directly photos, documents, and PowerPoint presentations, et cetera, et cetera. So that's under featured, but watch this. You could also put content on any one of your positions in your experience section. Just hit the edit pencil, scroll to the bottom of this box, and you can add media here. However, what I wanna share with you, and by the way, one more, and one more place you can add rich media. You can add it down here under accomplishments as a publication. So I hit the plus here, publication, and it has to be a URL, so it has to be internet-based content that's publicly accept, accessible, and you can put that URL there, and you can put more description in here. Now, however, people have to scroll down, your viewers have to scroll down through a lot of content to find it in publications or in an experience section, but they don't have to go far to find it in your featured section. So what I recommend you do is whatever you want to share from a document perspective or any online content, put it in your featured section, it's more likely to be seen. Now, how do we do this? Let me show you how you do it from Google Drive. So I'm gonna go to my Google Drive. So from my Google Drive, you can see I have a test resume. This is basically a template that I created. And that's what I wanna put on my LinkedIn profile in the featured section. So let me show you how to do that. First of all, I don't recommend, even though you could, I don't recommend sharing the Google document because sometimes when people print it or they download it or save it as Word, the formatting might change. What I recommend you do is save it as a PDF. So in Google Docs, which is what I'm in right now, file, download, PDF. And now, you see in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, there's a PDF, so let me close this now I still need to make that PDF publicly accessible. And one of the easiest ways to do that is grab that PDF and drop it in your Google Drive. And there it is right there, a PDF that I can see in my Google Drive. And better than that, I can now share it and make it accessible to others, which is what I need to do in order to get it on LinkedIn. So if I right click on this, you'll see there's a share button. But I can also, if you want to, click on it and highlight it. And then I can go up here and hit the plus button and I can share it there. Now what you're going to need to do is click right here uh, in the get link box and change this so that it is visible as a viewer to anyone with the link. Now I can copy that link, which is what I need to do to now go to LinkedIn and share the link. Let me hit done. Let me go over here to LinkedIn. Here's my featured section. I'm going to hit the plus. I'm going to share a link, and so right there when I share the link, I paste the link in there, hit add, it brings it in, now I want to change the title, make it maybe something along the lines of social media strategist resume, and now I can put up to 500 characters in the description, let me do that. Now I'm going to show you a problem with this description box in a minute, um, but I can have up to 500 characters there and after I type in everything I want, and by the way, I'm a big advocate of using the keywords that are important to your target audience so that when they are reading it, they see those words that resonate with them. So put what you want to put in there and hit save. 
And there is my featured resume in the featured section. Now here's the problem, part of the problem. I mean, it's easy to get to, if I click on it, it's gonna open up that the Google Drive document and there's the full PDF. That's pretty cool, works easy. But here's the problem with this. I get 500 characters here. You can't see 500 characters. The most I can see in this view is two half lines. If I go to see all, I can see three lines. Ideally, I could probably see four lines, but I can't see everything I wrote. So I had the ability to put 500 characters, but I have yet to find any way to be able to view those 500 characters within LinkedIn. Now, that being said, I encourage you to use as many as you can up to 500 characters, because not only are you writing that, that text in that description box for the viewer, you're also writing this text keyword rich for the search engines, for the bots. So use all 500 characters if you can, even though the user can't see it. It's a great way to showcase your resume or a brochure on your LinkedIn profile in the featured section. And again, by using Google, I create a document in Google, I export it out as a PDF, I upload that PDF to my Google Drive, I change the settings so it's shareable to anybody or viewable to anybody with the link, grab the link, come to LinkedIn, hit the add button, drop it in there, change the title, change the description, done. I'm Teddy Burris, your LinkedIn and sales navigator strategist, trainer and coach. I hope you can use these ideas for you.